Hey everybody, uh, Chris here again. Just wanted to touch base with you guys, see how everybody was doing, and show you a little something I'm working on right now. Uh, as uh, you may know in some of the other uh, videos I've done, I have a, what I call a water table. It's a crack, crack key water table. Um, I love them. They're easy, simple ways of growing your greens. Um, I grow, uh, right now I have a little one. Mine is two foot by eight foot, and it'll hold something like 210 two inch net cups. We're looking at net cups like this, little itty bitty ones. I love them. Best thing I ever did, I fill it up with uh, nutrient water. I filled it up about a month ago and I haven't had to touch it. Um, I'm probably what I'll do is go ahead and take out some of the water and freshen it up a little bit. Not that it there's anything wrong with the water. It's just freshen it up, give it some better uh, minerals and uh, nutrients inside their water and fresher nutrients, and uh, it really kicks off. I took I've uh, in that month or less than a month. It's probably only been about three weeks. Uh, I uh, planted uh, some spinach, some baby spinach, and some Swiss chard, and uh, a little mescaline mix. Well, in about three and a half weeks, I've gotten already one pound of uh, greens off of it. I've got a lot of holes that are empty, so I'm going to go ahead and fill those up with this right here. You can see this, beautiful. What this is, is a kale. This is what we use for our personal use. Um, we, uh, uh, I use this for microgreens. This is my microgreens for our house. But because I use the same kale that I would in the, in the um, field or uh, for, for my microgreens, what I can do is I take my two inch cups and gently you can see there's the root and everything pull that out put those into the cups and just fill in fill it in there's my net cup bam there we go we got a uh, we got a new cup ready to go into the water table you know on some of the smaller ones there's one smaller one there you know I'll take two or three of those and I'll put them in there only because these guys have been somewhat spoiled and haven't really been into the direct sunlight as much as my water table is going to be so I, I know I'm gonna lose a few of them not a big deal to me next time I have some microgreens I'll go ahead and refill them um, so I mean the bigger ones will probably stay the little ones maybe they will maybe they won't not a real big deal usually it's about a 50 50 chance that they're gonna stay <clears throat> anyways uh, I just wanted to uh, show you um, how I do my uh, net cups depending on whether I'm doing I mean I pretty much do it the same way if I'm doing lettuce uh, Swiss chard spinach um, the mescaline mix first time this year I went ahead and uh, um, sprinkled some uh, seeds on top of the two inch went ahead and filled up a cup just like that I don't pack it down real tight just like that and that's really not packed in I just made sure that everything went in what I do is sprinkle some seeds on top leave it alone put it in the hole make sure it's touching the water the, um, I use peat moss and perlite. I use my regular peat moss and perlite mix. And what happens is, uh, of course, the peat moss will suck up the water, the moisture, and make it nice and moist. <clears throat> and uh, I had fairly good success this year. I tried last year, but I think I had some bad seed. Um, I, the lettuce seed that I had was really really kicking my butt and didn't want to germinate last year um, 
So I stopped buying from that uh, that seed place, and it was a it was an eBay guy that I bought something off of. I figure I'll try the eBay. I have a few different guys on eBay that I'll buy from, um, but you know, every now and again I'll try a, a new person, and uh, well, we won't use him anymore. So, anyways, like I said, just a quick video. Uh, just wanted to show you uh, what we're doing here and uh, how I do my uh, two inch net cups. Okay, this is what I harvested uh, yesterday. Between that and that spinach there, that a little bit of a little salad mix there, and uh, about an ounce of microgreens. Um, I had a total of a pound of uh, greens that came out of here. And we've been only growing in here for about three and a half weeks. Just so you see, this is my Swiss chart. This is what the root system looks like in my Swiss chart. So, like I said, I love these water tables. Please uh, don't forget to uh, um, subscribe, like, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know if you don't like my videos. Uh, let me know what you think I could do different. Give me some ideas of what you want to see. Um, but uh, even more so, share the videos. I can't get out and I can't help anybody if nobody's watching my videos. Um, I know I'm a new channel. and uh, But number one is just really share the videos and uh, let's help me get out there so that I can help people I'm not saying what I do is come 100% right I might be 100% wrong but I'm trying I'm doing and I'm showing you what's worked for me so again guys share like subscribe uh, and we'll talk to you soon